The last time we reviewed a Rolls-Royce Phantom drop head coupe, it was 2009, and none other than PJ. O'Rourke wrote an enlightened piece full of magnificently qualified praise for the glittery land yacht, with cheeky nods to the people who buy them. We certainly won't attempt to match O'Rourke's sage perspective, social insights, and penchant for literary flourish. But we can tell you about the new Phantom Drop Head Coupe Nighthawk, one of nine produced exclusively for the US market, and how it feels to drive it in an area of the country where the car is even more in its element than O'Rourke's New Hampshire hood, Los Angeles. Steering clear of TMZ. The car hasn't changed a bit since 2009, at least mechanically, which is why we didn't bother retesting it. Unless the laws of physics have changed, the 5800, plus, pound cabriolet probably still hits 60 mph in about 5 and a half seconds, still negotiates corners with roughly 0.76 grams of lateral grip, and comes to a halt from 70 mph in 177 feet give or take. As for driving it today, being at the helm of a 3-ton, $570,000 beast as it lists like the Costa Concordia on Mulholland Drive's notorious S-curves can be pretty terrifying. It's all about the consequences, put a wheel off in the rolls and you'll make the evening news. Or worse, TMZ. Born for the boulevard. And so, this baller roller is happiest when wafting along PCH or one of LAS famous boulevards at a prudent pace. It is there that one notices the eerie, mausoleum-like quietude with which the Rolls-Royce glides along, as if in its own cone of silence. We're moving, but is there a V-12 underhood? The top is down, but where are the wind and tumult? We see cracks and expansion joints, visible just beyond the famous spirit of ecstasy, but were they suddenly filled by the time our tires reached them? The drop head coupe feels as utterly disengaged from the road as its customers feel to the bourgeoisie, which is entirely appropriate, as there's comfort in isolation. Unless you live in Beverly Hills, Monte Carlo, or perhaps West Palm Beach, a phantom sighting is rare. But alas, we encountered no fewer than three other phantom drop head coupes during our 72-hour tryst. That's where Bespoke comes in.